category. People took profits and then there was even more buying pressure coming in, protecting that exact same level from one month ago. Hello everyone, Steve Courtney comes up with a new strategy to deal with the latest Bitcoin pullback and having around the corner. A must watch. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. We just had an enormous rally off of our bear market. We were exploding in prices. Everybody was calling for 100K. Oh, when is 100K, 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 100K? And everybody was at the edge of their seats. The market was moving phenomenally fast. Everybody around the world was captivated by the movements of Bitcoin. And Bitcoin was on the world's radar at that moment. It was exploding in prices. But at 73,000, we saw some trouble brewing and we put out this video. Roll the clip. Attention cryptocurrency investors and traders. There is a major correction coming to the crypto space that will take the world by storm and surprise most. But it's going to present one of the best buying opportunities of this bull run if you've missed out so far. In that clip, we said that a bigger correction was coming. A potential crash was coming to Bitcoin. Tilt your phone to the side and subscribe. Since then, Bitcoin has had extreme trouble with 73,000, right? We, since then, over a month ago, we haven't gotten above 73,000 and we've dropped down 15 to 20% two times from that video, leaving huge areas to buy. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to give a simple buy strategy that if you missed it in my prior videos, everybody who watched it bought at 6162 and bought at 6162 here. Two times they got in at a very strategic time. So if you missed that strategy, I will drop it for you at the end of this video completely free. But look at what happened, right? Had this explosive rally, and then you all know what we printed here, an indecision candle. It was a tug of war, bulls and bears. We followed that up with a bullish hammer. Even though it's red, bullish hammer can be red, it can be green. What you wanna look for, small body near the top, long lower wick. That long lower wick told us that that 60 level was bought heavy, maybe by all the people who watch my videos because we put that literally in a strategy that we put in multiple videos. I will give you that strategy at the end of the video. But anyways, whenever you see a long wick to the downside, that always resembles buying pressure coming in, protected area and momentum to the upside. We follow that up with a bullish engulfing candle. That bullish engulfing candle told us that, hey, we had a tug of war here, but the bulls took over in this one, case in point, bullish hammer. Bulls took over on this one, case in point, a bullish engulfing candle. And then things started to turn. Things started to turn with last week's candle. Last week's candle was a hanging man candle. A hanging man candle, you want little to no wick on the upside. You want a long lower wick on the downside, at least two times the size of the body. Meaning you can see how big the body is here. You want the wick to be at least two of those. And you want a a hanging man candle to be found near the top of a rally. By definition, that's precisely what a hanging man candle is. However, in order to confirm the hanging man candle, that next candle had to follow a certain set of principles. That next candle had to be an explosive candle. That next candle had to have a hidden message inside that could spell a, a series of events that will happen in Bitcoin that could take everybody by surprise. But nonetheless, we did have have a hanging man candle. It did come after the bulls were in control for two weeks in a row after they lost their momentum uh, on the candle of March 11th. Keep in mind, the bulls have been in control this whole time and they just lost their footing on this candle. They regained their footing on the next two and then they lost it on this one. And then we printed this candle. This candle is hot up the press. This is a big body red candle. This big body red candle closed below the prior body, which is a key clue. I want you to remember that. We also have a large upper wick just about the same size as the body. We have an even longer lower wick, just over one times the size, almost one and a half times the size of the body. This all plays a key role in what we're going to uncover because this candle right here has power. This candle right here has a 
incredible significance. This candle right here has the power to alter Bitcoin's direction in the coming weeks. Let's get to the middle of our screen and then we'll revisit this candle and then I'll give you the strategy that you can use as well. Middle of our screen, RSI. I want you to remember, overbought, oversold. What we notice about the RSI is that we got up into the 80 level on the weekly chart, which I've repeatedly told you, you can count on your two hands how many times Bitcoin has done that over the last 14 years. Over the last 14 years, Bitcoin has been incredibly volatile, up, down, backwards, forwards, but you can count on your hands how many times we've been at that 88 or higher. And when we got up there, that's when Bitcoin was at 73,000. And I repeatedly told you, Hey, look, we've got trouble brewing. You do not want to be that high. That means we were overbought. That means a high majority of humans were buying at that time. In other words, Grandma Betty was calling you nonstop, telling you to buy Bitcoin at 73,000. The market was as overextended as ever, and Grandma Betty was having heart palpitations, trying to buy more Bitcoin and convince all of her friends, who most of them have died already, to buy more Bitcoin. So she called you screaming to buy. You always want to do the opposite of Grandma Betty. She's a little bit crazy, a little bit delusional. She's lost her mind, her in her little wheelchair. Watch out for Grandma Betty. So we got up there at that level, incredibly overextended. And what would Bitcoin potentially do? Oh, well, come back through this yellow line, cool off, have a little pullback, present an incredible opportunity to buy, regain its breath, for its next leg up. That's what Bitcoin is doing. You look, no correction right now is going to change Bitcoin's bull run. Any pullback, anything that we say here on the channel, this is a bull run. It's more risky to be out of Bitcoin than in Bitcoin. That's not gonna change until we're not in a bull run, quite literally. However, if you're really experienced, you can use the stochastic RSI to take some profits off the table and wait to buy back in when we have a stochastic RSI cross back to the upside. What we've seen recently is a stochastic RSI cross down. We officially had this cross down back here. If we take a look at the charts, we're looking at it at March 18th. We started to show signs. However, the creator of the stochastic RSI literally has a rule. He created it 30 years ago and he said, watch, when there's a cross down, you want the fast and the slow line to cross below the 80 level. Once they do, then that becomes confirmed as an official cross down, an official momentum moving to the downside. Now, why would we add that extra layer? You wanna be a disciplined trader. We're not playing a game of guessing or hoping or praying or flipping a coin. We don't play those games. This is a game of facts, evidence, confluence, and making smarter decisions where you can minimize risks and maximize reward. That's the game we're playing. We're not playing a guessing game. If you've been playing a guessing game so far, you might be friends with Grandma Betty, and we're gonna change that outlook. We're gonna change that mindset. But case in point, why do we wait down? Uh, wait till the fast and slow line get below here. Look no further than March of last year, 2023. And look at any chart for that matter with anything that has a chart, a stock or anything. They always respect that 80 level and oftentimes bounce off of that. This one went right through it, right? So last week, we just barely had our nose of this line through it, confirming a stochastic RSI cross down. And at the same time, we printed a hanging man candle. Keep in mind, the hanging man candle was hanging out, you know, around 70, what, 70 something thousand dollars, 71, 72,000, that hanging man candle. So the hanging man candle, 71, 72,000. At the same time that we had the hanging man candle, we had a confirmed stochastic RSI cross down with momentum heading to the downside. And we were looking for some specific things to play out on the charts to confirm that hanging man and to confirm the stochastic RSI and to confirm a type of reversal. So now let's get into what that candle is. What does it represent, right? We just printed this candle, hot off the press, big body red candle, wick to the upside, even longer wick to the downside. It has a hidden message, one that you may not like, but I'm going to share it with you anyways. So we talked about RSI, 
really no worries, middle of our screen. The star of the show is really this candle and the stochastic RSI, and they're working together in unison. Now here's where it gets interesting. We have momentum heading to the downside. We had a hanging man candle, and we were in the midst of looking and watching this candle print. And I said to you, watch what the body does. What we wanted, number one, was a body of this candle to close below the body of the hanging man. Now keep in mind, this is a hanging man, bona fide fact. In order to confirm that, you look at the following candle and it has to do a couple things. If it does those couple things, it confirms the hanging man. When it confirms the hanging man, that confirms a trend reversal. When you confirm a trend reversal, you can look at lower prices and start to look at market structure because that trend that has been an uptrend will reverse to a downtrend. That's the power of the hanging man. That's the significance of this candle we just printed. Okay. In other words, we had a hanging man, we had the body close below. That's check mark number one. What we wanted to do is have the body close below and it's irrelevant how big the body was. This happened to be a big body candle. What does that tell us? That just tells us that the open and close price of this body were further apart. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that there was more volatility within that open and within that close. It's not really relevant how big the body is. We just wanted that body to close below the body of the hanging man to confirm. We do have a wick to the upside. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that we had this hanging man and people were still overly excited about Bitcoin, including Grandma Betty and all of her potentially deceased friends and some of them who are still alive. were probably going crazy about Bitcoin, telling everybody to buy. And we did have a little bit of price action come in where we rose above the hanging man. We actually rose up here to almost 73,000, getting everybody really excited. What actually happened is the RSI came back down into that market structure that we gave to you, that 80, between 80 and 78, and we bounced off of there that last week, forming this wick high. What does that tell us? Well, that tells us that, hey, exciting people got into this crypto and they, they started uh, buying Bitcoin, raising the prices, and then we got up here around 73 and smart money came in and they took profits pushing price down. So when they pushed price down, we actually fell all the way down here to 60, which is not a random number. It's actually a double bottom, right? We had this bottom here back in March 18th, and we just wicked down to the same exact thing on one, uh, basically one month later on April 8th, same exact levels, right? So that tells us a very distinct story. People took profits and then there was even more buying pressure coming in, protecting that exact same level from one month ago. Keep in mind, they might have the strategy. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Steve Courtney. If you enjoy this highlight video, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.